Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. We're looking at the big square pieces in the middle are tungsten carbide. The one on the left has been cleaned with a solvent. The one on the right has been cleaned with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Um, top and bottom, you can see the tubes from the induction coil. The bar running across the middle is a, just a mild steel bar. We use that because it heats up a lot faster than the carbide does and because we want the heat coming through the carbide into the braze alloy. Um, the piece of wire and there's a little bit of black flux in the middle and the, the water on the right and the solvent on the left haven't completely dried. But anyway, there's a little piece of braze alloy in the middle with some black flux. The braze alloy is a 50% CAD free. It is an 046 diameter and it is 320 inches long, 0.320 inches long. This is not nearly enough for a production application, but this is a wetting test. We're doing two things. We're testing surface preparations and we're demonstrating our wetting test. What we want to see is how far a piece of braze alloy that's too small flows out. The farther it flows, the more receptive the carbide surface is and the better bond you're going to have. I'm going to turn on the induction coil now, induction heater. This is a watt little one kilowatt unit from Ameritherm, which is proven over the years to be a real handy unit for us. Um, okay, now you can see the water boiling out and you can see a lot of fumes coming off the solvent on the left. We use a real strong uh, ventilation system when we do any kind of brazing. Uh, the fumes from the flux, the flux is potassium salts and boron, boron and fluorine. So the fumes are have hydrofluoric acid in them and they will etch eyeglasses. They're also not good for lungs or bones or whatever. So, okay. First, the water boils out of the flux, which we're seeing. Secondly, the flux becomes active and starts to spread out. And then you can see it on the right where the braze alloy starts to melt. This is not the perfect shape coil for the brazing. It's a real good shape for the photography. Um, the carbide on the right is turning kind of reddish orange because I did a surface prep to it before and then cleaned it. All right, you can see the braze alloy here. On the left, it's balled up into a, a little tight ball in the middle. On the right, you can see it spreading out. And the first thing that happens is part of it spreads out. And then you can see where there's, there's the hump in the middle. So, and we'll let it, we'll let the left hand one get a little hotter. Um, but you can clearly see the difference now between the two. Now on the right hand one, uh, on the right hand one that little piece of wire has spread out to cover a lot of the tip. Also there's an awful lot of surface around it that's very receptive to the braze alloy. On the left you still have the hump in the middle of the big piece of in the middle of the big piece of carbide. I was sort of hoping that that flux is going to burn off um, so that you could see the hump. Let me pull the let me pull the good piece out of there and we'll we finally error we finally got a little bit of spread of the braze alloy around that one edge, but that's all we got. So it's an extremely unreceptive surface. And I'm gonna turn the induction coil, induction unit off. And that's what we mean by wettability. This one has very, very poor wettability. You have to get the braze alloy really hot. Um, that's it, thanks.